The nuclear negotiations between Iran and the world powers in Moscow yielded nothing other than an agreement to meet again at the expert level in two weeks in Istanbul. This in itself is not a negative outcome. Given the mismatched expectations and at times uh, misguided convictions, a breakthrough was maybe as illusory as a breakdown could have been perilous. Let's quickly review the diplomatic process in the past two months. Uh, the first meeting between Iran and the P5 plus one in Istanbul was uh, mainly about generalities. It was in the Baghdad meeting that for the first time they ex exchanged their proposals. A third meeting in Moscow was when for the first time uh, they uh, engaged into substantive discussions. So I would argue that Iran and the P5 plus one for the first time clearly understand each other's perspectives and that in itself is an achievement. Right before the Moscow meeting, Crisis Group recommended that uh, instead of sporadic uh, and highly sensitive diplomatic encounters, uh, the P5 plus one and Iran should engage into intensive and continuous uh, discussions at the technical level. And this is precisely what the negotiators agreed at, uh, to do in, in Moscow. Uh, and I think that's a, that's a very positive step forward because let's not forget the Iranian nuclear uh, standoff is, uh, is not about physics, it's about politics. But the agreement uh, and the common ground on the political issues is very narrow. So to start the diplomatic uh, bargaining at the technical level is a good idea. We hope that the July 3rd uh, technical level meeting uh, is not a one-time encounter uh, and actually talks will continue until agreement is reached uh, to curb Iran's most dangerous nuclear activity, which is enrichment at the 20% level. And then that would pave the ground uh, to, to move forward and, and reach political agreements. We should take into consideration two important points. First, the bicycle principle applies to these talks, meaning that if they don't move forward, they will fall apart. It's hard to sustain the negotiations unless there is concrete agreement. And this is especially important given uh, the uh, domestic constraints both in Tehran and Washington. Second, the European oil embargo and U.S. sanctions on Iran's central bank will come into effect as of July 1st. So if there is no agreement at the technical level meeting in early July, then it can be anticipated that the Iranians start, start taking escalatory measures on their own, and that would increase the tension and create a very dangerous situation. So let's hope that rather than more brickmanship, both sides embrace the technical level meetings, uh, try to find a limited agreement, and pave the ground towards a more comprehensive solution.